It's the second division of the Simcoe Grand Circuit Stakes, three-year-old open trotters approaching the start. And they're off and trotting. Holy Guacamole is trying a big move from the extreme outside. Ethan Sealster has burst out. Berto Leo and Captain Brady up in the middle of the track. Caramba Hall is going to be attending into the top five. Kingdom follows through in sixth position. CR Audacious between horses in a very snug spot from seventh. Amigo Hall buried in there from eighth. Stacked up across the track. Achieved victory and Bebop was wide. Not quite there. Eleventh and last away. Uh, emerging between horses to take the first turn lead is Captain Brady 27 and 3. Berto Leo has worked out a two hole position into the backstretch. Caramba Hall emerged in third. Holy Guacamole wedged in from fourth. And Ethan Sealster is tipping off the pylons from fifth. Right there is Kingdom in sixth position after three eighths completion. CR Audacious is seventh. Amigo Hall has nowhere to go at this stage from eighth on the inside. Moving third to last, that is achieved victory ahead of Bebop and on the outside, not quite there, eleventh. That was the half. Captain Brady 57 and 2, 29 and 4 rating in the second quarter. Moving up on the outside, Holy Guacamole, the attacker, onto the final turn, and Berto Leo sits right there from third. Ethan Sealster covered up, second over into the top four, with Caramba Hall still not far away in there from fifth position. That's C.R. Audacious, sixth on the outside, and Kingdom is seventh. Amigo Hall looking for a seam in the backfield and the trailing trio over to the head of the stretch along the outside. That was Bebop and not quite there was in the backfield. They've passed three quarters in 125 and three. Captain Brady has led it all the way into the stretch of the second Simcoe Stakes division. The pocket sitter much of the way but unable to do anything with it was Berto Leo. Amigo Hall is out in the eight pass and charging hard on the far outside but Captain Brady is long gone to go wire to wire. Captain Brady and John Campbell in the Simcoe Stakes. Amigo Hall shook loose late for second and then it was back to Caramba Hall against Kingdom with the inquiry sign posted 154. Captain Brady unofficially in the third. Dan, it's been a frustrating season with this guy. A world of potential and he showed it tonight. Yeah, we're really happy with him tonight. Uh, he has been a problem. He's been a headache. He's got a tremendous amount of talent and we just got to keep, uh, got to keep working with him. John Campbell, the go-to guy tonight. Uh, what were you able to pass along to John uh, leading up to the race? Obviously, there's a lot of baggage with this guy. Well, you know, just basically the same thing I tell anybody who drives him first time. You, you, you know, he's a little tough at the gate. You have to keep his attention. He'll, uh, uh, he'll seize up a little bit if you don't keep him moving in the post parade. So that's basically all I said. Just keep him moving and uh, give him a little bit of room at the gate, and, and uh, hopefully he'll behave. He's the kind of horse that, uh, you know, if he gets two or three clean lines under his belt, you think that'll be the turning point for him? You know, I've been hoping that all summer. I, I've, I've said if we could get two or three good solid races into him, get his confidence level up, uh, he'll, maybe, he'll maybe catch on and we'll be away. So uh, we've got one now. So we're going to start to, you know, uh, we go one race at a time and uh, ho hope he behaves well next week. What was John able to say after the race? He said he's a very, very fast horse. He said he's not the smartest horse he's ever drove, but uh, he's a very fast horse. Um, you know, that pretty well everybody that's drove him has said the same thing. He's got a, a world of talent. Uh, whether he goes out of this stuff and uh, smartens up, we'll, we'll wait and see, but we're sure hoping so. Quickly, Dan, where's he go next? Uh, next weekend, Canadian Trotting Classic Eliminations, and then hopefully uh, we'll make the final and he'll be racing next two weekends here. Okay, Dan, congratulations on the win tonight. We've got our fingers crossed for next week. Thanks very much, Ken. Sons of Balance, image complete, the exactor in tonight's second division of the Simcoe State.